introduction to uh, th three apparent UFOs at low altitude over a uh, giant food shopping center parking lot in Silver Spring, uh, Maryland. And um, as I was walking out at nighttime, I always have my camera with me, and it, I saw these uh, craft approaching, which I thought at first was a helicopter. It was uh, pretty low, and uh, as it approached, I thought, well, it's not a helicopter. I couldn't hear anything, and it just didn't look like that. Well, maybe it's a low-flying airplane. Got my camera on it. It's like, well, it wasn't a low-flying airplane. Uh, after the incident, three of them came by, and I was talking with a witness at 10, 7, 10, 10, 15 to 10, 17, uh, which was only a couple, uh, at, right after that one, the last one flew over. And at that time, a, a Marine's presidential helicopter, uh, presidential unit helicopter came in. They, they regularly patrol around there, not too often, uh, fortunately, anymore. But they're definitely around uh, commonly. And this one came in with the searchlight. I don't think I got that on uh, it's being laid in right there. They're just cohesion elements. Giant Silver Spring Giant. A very strange aircraft with a, a light the type of which I've never personally seen before. What is that about? That's real, real weird. I'm getting a good zoo and it's like circular. It has, it's strange. Hello. Let's just say hi. That is freaking weird, man. All right, that's pretty good. I'm set on on uh. uh it's not autofocus. It's just set on uh. Uh, in long, long distance. You know, there's no wings, there's no structure, there are no nav lights. It's getting dimmer. It's definitely getting dimmer. I almost lost it. It's now turned its light out. There it is, right there. That was it. Uh, there's another one right behind it. That was a star. Did you see that star that went by? That was a good example. God. I want to say it. See, it turned, it's turning its light out. I'm right on it. Calm as I can be. And it's virtually out. It is what it is. It's the third one. It's like there's no structure. There's only a red emanation at the center is bright. Wow. Yeah, and it's like sort of, I'll show you the replay in a second. It's kind of, it's a little bit oodling. It's pretty steady. It's the third one that's gone by and it gets dim too. It was very bright over us and then as it gets further away. So I'm going to make a note of the time of it. And then I can find out, like I can call up FAA and ask them, you know, who is that? Yeah, but they ain't going to tell you nothing, no. They're probably right. Yeah, that one's turning on its light, so I'm just going to back. Definitely. Coming the other direction at higher. Okay, I didn't get a perfect time on that, but I would estimate that that took place around uh, 10 o'clock, 10, 12. Because uh, after they went by, I then checked my camera of talking for a second with that guy, and it was 10, 17, so... Those are heading from uh, basically pretty much south to north, maybe south, southeast to north, northwest. Looking over the same area, I'll show you. It's just clear enough that you can see another star, so you can see the difference right there. And I have good resolution. Um, so basically, I don't use steady, you know, I mean, it's as steady as I'm going to get it. Here's another shot that there's the same star, but see, there's a jet right there, so you can see the difference and the quality, relative quality of my resolution, so the guy's slightly, just slightly higher than they were. 
show you another one. This was about the altitude they were at. That's a jet right there, obviously, so you can see 